Okay, part two of my uh, metal pole barn build. I got these three uh, empty sauna tubes sunk in the ground. I got the height set, <clears throat> set the height with my laser, pulled a string, drilled these holes, a uh, 12 inch auger on my post hole digger. Got those three set. Got a couple pieces of rebar going down in each one. Yeah, it's hard to believe that that height right there is the same as that height. So that's how much the ground is unlevel here. So I checked it, double checked it with a laser. I got two more holes to drill on this side, uh, but I've got some precast tubes. I had some uh, concrete left over from my footing pour on my home addition, so I filled up uh, six of these tubes. I used four on the other side, and I got two for this side. Show you what I'm doing here. Yeah, this side's done. Uh, two of these I poured, three of them were the precast. Those are all in. I haven't bolted anything. Well, I, I take that back. I did bolt this front one down, but that side I'm going to wait until I get everything put together. And these are the trusses here. They're uh, 30 foot wide. Yeah, so once I get everything set up tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to set those tomorrow. I'm going to try and pour in the morning and uh, let it set up. Maybe I'll wait another day, we'll see. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna get these other two holes drilled and then uh, get back on it tomorrow morning and pour the concrete in these three. We got all of our uh, sauna tubes poured. Turned out pretty good. They all have rebar in them. Uh, two sticks pounded down to the ground. And that's going to hold up the left side of our barn. And just for the record, my uh, cement mixer over there will run off 150 foot of extension cord. Work like a champ. You guys saw me get these uh, rails all cleaned up yesterday with the wire wheel. I had some welding repairs to do and I went ahead and welded the sides um, right along here. They were only welded here and here from the factory so I welded these up and uh, got them all painted up. A couple of coats of good black paint. Uh, same on that side. And 
so we got a little bit of time we're going to go ahead and uh, we got the boom pole hooked up the trusses are already put together and uh, we're going to go ahead and hook them up and uh, see if we can get them lined up i only have uh, this side bolted down for now with one bolt and i want to get them get the trusses on and get it squared up before i drill any holes on the rest of this or that side get it square and then i'll I bought some big uh, tap cons and I'll drill them and run those tap cons down in there once we get it square. So here goes. So far, so good. If I can just get them lowered down on there, lined up. That wasn't horrible. Went a little easier than I thought. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, four more to go. Once I get them all set and I get everything squared up, then we'll get some holes drilled. It should be okay though. It shouldn't go anywhere. We'll see. set this here over out of the way probably put the remainder of it on fast forward
What you think about that? It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> I guess proper planning really helps making sure everything's square to start off with. I just got to bump it around. Wow, I don't know if you can see, but I made some pencil marks on here and it fell almost exactly within my pencil marks once I got the last one on. This one's got a couple of shims under it. And this one does too. They just ended up a little bit lower. Those are the ones I had to plant. Um, got a little black paint scraped off there. Yeah, so yeah, that turned out pretty close to center. Can't ask for much better than that. That one will get drilled. That one will get drilled. I put a new hole for this one. It's almost dead center. Close enough to center. And close enough to center. Plenty of support there. Look at that sun. Step back here and take a look. Very nice. So I got the, I got the metal roofing laying on the ground over there so that'll go up next and that'll get everything squared up top tied in nice it's pretty sturdy though I think uh, welding those those stubs on there on both sides it helped it helped with the stiffness a little bit so yeah let me get the uh, roof on there. Probably won't start that till tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how it looks. All right, good morning. We're out here. We're gonna try and put the roof on this pole barn. That's what I call it. Some people call it a carport. I call it a pole barn. So we got, uh, we got the boom pole, the hook, a couple of straps, a couple of vice grip clamps clamped tightly on here on the flat surface and now uh, we're going to pick it up and set it up there and once we get it up there we can maneuver around and get some screws in it and get this going so let's see how this works
Well, it ain't the most graceful procedure, but it, but it works. Let me collapse this uh, tripod. I'll take you up on the roof and show you what we're doing. That is panel number five. It's turning out pretty good. Everything's laying down uh, nice and square, fairly straight, no complaints really. This ladder will give you a workout, but it is handy. It's one of those uh, little giant, little giant leveler for uneven ground like out here, it's great. I don't get in a hurry when I'm climbing up this thing. All right. So that's what we look like here. Each panel gets uh, four screws per row and there's five rows, so it takes about 30, 40 minutes to run down there. You really got to get up here high and reach over the top, but real happy with that. Went and bought new screws. Got little rubber washers under them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and probably just do this panel and one more for today and then call it quits till next weekend. And then uh, I'll show you the finished product. All right, I just got the uh, last piece of sheet metal roofing screwed down. Everything lined up pretty good. Uh, had to put a couple little patches over some of the holes that didn't line up. I uh, just used uh, clear flex seal tape. That uh, stuff works really well. I don't know if you can see up there the light coming through, but just to keep the water from dripping down. Yeah, I'm real pleased, real pleased with it. Turned out pretty nice. It's 30 feet wide, uh, 20 feet deep. I picked this up uh, used for 2,500 bucks and the guy helped me take it down and brought it over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, finally got to put it up. All right. Thanks again for watching Projects with Paul. We'll see you next time.